Welcome, folks, one and all, to Let's Play the Demo of Gibbous, a Cthulhu adventure. What is Gibbous? Well, Gibbous is a point-and-click adventure game that has been released for the uh, PC, Mac, and Linux in demo form. Why demo form? Because the game is currently on Kickstarter, but a demo has been released for a general play, and I like demos. Demos are a cool thing. Before we go on, I'd like to mention that this is not a paid promotion. The developers of the game approached me uh, on YouTube in message format and directed me towards the uh, link for the demo, which is available on their webpage. I will put a link in the uh, description. And I played it last night. Quite a lot, actually. I uh, started late at night, and before I'd finished, it was actually extremely late. And I liked it so much that uh, I decided to do some videos on the demo itself. Now with that out of the way, let's go on to some Cthulian silliness. Because as you can see from the title, this indeed is a Cthulhu Mythos inspired uh, point and click adventure game that does poke fun at both adventure games in general and the Cthulhu Mythos. So without further ado, I'd like to mention before we go on two things. Firstly, being able to save in a demo, really, really cool. I do like that. And uh, secondly, there are a few teething issues with the demo itself. For instance, there are a few frame rate issues in the actual demo. That is not from the recording because they were there when I was playing it last night. And I imagine that's just because of it uh, being a demo and those will hopefully be ironed out in an actual full release. Also, recording the intro section and then it transitioning into the actual game itself crashes the recording effort. It's, I think it's something to do with it momentarily changing resolution and it really not liking it in my recording setup. So, without further ado, let's find out exactly what Gibbous, a Cthulhu adventure, has in store. And I don't think I need to describe it. I think I'll let the protagonist of this game explain it for me. Take it away, Buzz! Hey everyone, and welcome to Gibbous, a Cthulhu adventures demo. Let me put things into perspective. I won't be long, I promise. So, in the demo, we are close to the beginning of the game. I recently witnessed a private eye get kidnapped by mysterious forces. Probably because he was searching for the Necronomicon, which I found, and read a spell from, and transformed my cat, Kid A, into a talking abomination. Into a talking abomination? Your cat? It's just... Uh... It's what people say when they have this a... This is unbearable. Look, I just want to be a normal cat again and not give a flying... So, let's find a way to turn Kid A back to normal. Together. Please, enjoy the demo. Thank you! And now, folks, please turn on your virtual reality headsets, for this game has loads... Oh, never mind. And here we are after a cut in Darkham, present day. It's not Arkham, folks, because there's a D at the beginning of the name. Plus, it is rather dark here, so they did get that part of the name right. As you can see from the uh, what you're seeing here, this is a traditionally animated game in terms of the um, actual characters and their actions, and the backdrops are uh, 2D painted. It provides a wonderful, I believe, aesthetic to the actual game, and the music and atmosphere, for me anyway, really sort of pervades a deep dark sense of foreboding and ominous threat. And considering the fact that we have the Necronomicon in our inventory, that's kind of justified. Yep, Buzz has the Necronomicon, the uh... And he hasn't gone mad yet, so that's a plus. Or has he? I mean, after all, his cat, Kitte, does talk. Or does it? But Buzz, I'm trying to talk about the beginning of the get. Thank you. Buzz does have idle animations, and that was one of them. Without further ado, you've seen the inventory. We already have two items, one being the Necronomicon, and the other being a suspicious cookie. We can look at it. Very suspicious cookie. Effects remain to be determined. We are most certainly not going to be eating that, because it's very suspicious. We also have the Necronomicon. It's the dreaded Necronomicon. It may indeed be dreaded, but it's not doing anything yet, apart from what it already did to our cat. But that's besides the point. Let's go and explore Darkham and see if we can find a way to uh, undo what's happened to our cat. The demo has three screens, 
and a couple of NPCs in it, and uh, the screens, at least two of them, they do scroll. Not to the right here, but to the left. But for now, let's explore what's actually on this screen. Like our house, or dorm to be exact. Home is that way. Well, let's go. Obviously there are more items we need. Not in the demo. Oh. Obviously we need to use the Necronomicon on this. You can try and use items on all kinds of things here. I mean, just in the demo alone, Buzz has over 700 lines of dialogue. That's a lot. Let's see what happens. Nah. Oh. And what happens if you try and combine the items? Sorry, no budget for inventory item combo joke voice acting. Oh. Well, I'm persistent. I'm sure there's some somewhere. There aren't any inventory combos in the demo anyways. That's not going to stop me from trying. We're serious. You don't need to combine inventory items in the demo. You sure you're serious, game? Either way, spend voice budget on that combination? Please. Well, fair enough. What about this combination? Even if it seemed like a good idea, it wasn't. Trust us. One more for effect? What about the other way around? We're not joking. No inventory combo in the demo. And we had no voice budget for them anyway. Oh, fair enough, fair enough. You can see there that uh, Kit A is not necessarily an inventory item. It's something that you can use on other things. And uh, you either get a reaction or dialogue, or even, if you're lucky, something might happen. Kit A might actually decide to do something. Because uh, Kit A is not exactly a willing companion in this journey, and really doesn't want to do very much at all. There really needs to be an incentive for you to do something for uh, Kit A to even think about wanting to achieve it. So let's actually start looking around. Like at this bridge. You know, I've never crossed that bridge, and I got there several times. Hmm. We could use it. I doubt a little elevation would alter my perspective on things. Maybe not, but what about if we used an Necronomicon on it? I don't want to curse that bridge. I kind of like it. Oh. All right, then. What about this archway? Used to be you'd absentmindedly open this door, and the whole of Darkham would be flooded. Why was there, why is there even a door there, then? We can walk up to it. And into the distance. Back then... Door. Now, wall. Basically saying that we are not opening that door. Also, you saw the uh, screen scroll there. And it didn't um, have frame rate issues. It will do at some point, though. Now, there are a few more things that we can look at, like this looming tower of ominousness. Because this is a point and click adventure game, and that means I need to look at everything, try and use everything, and use everything on everything. Also, there was a person walking in the background there. There's also a dog sometimes. That ominous tower belongs to the local waterworks. Well, let's obviously go to that ominous tower. No thanks. I'll stick around for now. Fair enough. It isn't one of the places you can go to in the actual game. There is, however, this graffiti. That sign keeps popping up all over the place lately. Well, let's see if we can use it. Game saved. Really? Hmm, you can actually save in the uh, menu, which is quite nice, but uh, I don't think that actually saved the game. Obviously, we should try and use the uh, Necronomicon on this. I can feel the book vibrate whenever I look at that sign. I'm not combining those two. That is a very wise move. By the way, we didn't try and uh, curse the Looming Tower. Let's try that. I don't think even the Necronomicon can worsen its reputation. Oh. Oh, fair enough. There is a... Uh this uh, little girl here, who you may have noticed has done nothing but stare at us for the entire time. Let's just leave her do that for the moment and keep exploring around, because there are a few more things to look at. Like this hideous fish dressed as a human. Nothing says advertising your store like that. If they're trying to keep people away from Fishmouth, it's working. Ah, Fishmouth. Definitely not a uh, alternate name for another place we may know. Definitely not. Not only do I have no use for it, it has no reason to exist. I don't know, it's a little mascot for, uh, Fishmouth's own here? Fishmouth's own. There. Now I'm that one guy in the theater reading the title out loud. You sure there's just one guy that does that? Nothing to do with or about it. Well, we could curse it with the Necronomicon! 
Books and shop signs, man. No? Okay, what about this? No. If that thing moves, I'd die on the spot. So that means we can't do it, right? As far as I can see, there's no, um... There's no deaths in this uh, demo. However, there is this fish doll. And Buzz is looking there briefly. Let's see what we can do with it. Who has a fish doll? Nobody at the moment, because it's up there. Let's see if we can get it. I can't reach it from down here. But Kitte could get it. And here we'll see the one thing that Kitte can do in this demo. Or can Kitte do it? Hey, Kitte. How about you climb up and get that amphibian for me? Well, you gotta ask yourself, Buzz. What do we stand to gain from me exerting myself in that manner? Hmm, nothing for now, I guess. And there lies the problem with Kit A. Kit A is not gonna do that unless we have a reason. Kind of uh, goes against the pick up everything that's not nailed down idea about um, adventure games. Because that isn't nailed down. Kit A could go get it. But Kite is more uh, trying to grab that, or whatever Kite saw there. So we're not going to get that just yet. Also, we can move things in our inventory. I was just wondering why that had happened. That's handy. Here's a display window. Ugh. Never could stand fish. I wonder what those fish are. I like that glass right there, between those monstrosities and me. Pretty sure they're dead, Buzz, but hey, would you like to use a Necronomicon on them? I don't want to risk bringing those things back to life. Why don't we try using Kitte on them? I mean, cats like fish. We have bigger fish to fry, Buzz. I see what you did there. I saw what you did there too. You beat me to it. Ah, uh, protagonists that can actually beat me to puns. That's a thing. It's the door to the fishery. And I bet it's locked. It's closed and locked. Oh, can we curse it? Behold the Necronomicon, feeble fishery door. Tremble and shatter in fear. It didn't. So I can presume that didn't work. However, there is a sign here. Your name here, Street. Never heard of him or her. Oh. Can we take the sign? Thanks, your name here. Ah, no problem. Let's use the book on them. I don't want to curse your name here. He's a nice guy. Or she's a nice girl. Also, all of these dialogue options have just been using the Necronomicon. We haven't actually used the, uh, the cookie on anything. I mean, we could. Cookie, your name here? No. Oh, see? Doesn't want a cookie. We could use the cookie on all of these things. I mean, there are a few more inventory items yet to get. But there is a picture here. Man, that's one attractive dude. Let's see if we can use the Necronomicon on that. I'm not hexing good-looking dude. Does this person want a cookie? He didn't get that buff by eating cookies. Suspicious or not. Well, there's only one thing for it. This is an item we can actually, uh, take and put in our inventory. Let's do that. Just to be clear, I'm not picking this up for personal use. You're picking it up for inventory. This means you either advance the plot or something has changed in the world. In this instance, you've got a picture. We have another inventory item that we can start using on everything. Look at this. Combinations. I'm not sacrificing Mr. Goodlooking to the fish god. Are you sure that's the fish god? Are you sure? What about to the fish doll? Showing a male model picture to a fish doll in the middle of the street isn't something I'd be particularly proud of. Remember when I said he had over 700 lines of dialogue in the demo? Wasn't kidding. There's not actually much to uh, use on this screen, but there is the little girl, who we should probably actually talk to. She does seem important. A weird looking kiddo in the middle of the street. Well, obviously, we need to give this child the Necronomicon. Have the Necronomicon, child! You know, I actually doubt it'd impress her. Oh. What about a cookie? No way. What about a picture? I don't think she cares about this dude. What about a cat? I mean, if I can't uncurse Kitte, I can just give Kitte away. I'm not scared or anything. I just don't... You talk to her, okay? Alright, fine. 
We shall talk to the little girl. Hello! Hey, little girl. What are you doing in the street by yourself this late at night? Hey, big guy. What are you doing disturbing peaceful citizens for no good reason this late at night? Let me try that again. Yeah, let's try that again. It has a sort of uh, Monkey Island style of dialogue choices. We could just leave, but uh, maybe we're just genuinely concerned, so let's pick that one. Hey, I was just genuinely concerned. Well, don't be. Drop my fishy and that sign up there, and Grandma let me come out on the street and try to get it. But I can't reach it! Yeah, I can see that being a problem. Well, I'm sure there are other people that can help, right? Aren't your mom and dad around? Mom and dad moved to Fishmith last month. And we'll move there too. Soon. Not until I get my fishy! The fact that you're going to be moving to Fishmouth soon is just a little ominous for your future prospects there, I'm afraid. What's so special about that fishy? Fishies are the greatest, you ignoramus. Plus, it's my fishy. All right, all right. Settle down. Can't Grandma help you out? Grandma's been taking her bath for quite a while now. Grandma says we'll go to Fishmouth soon. We're just waiting for this big bathtub we ordered to be delivered. Grandma can't go traveling without her new bathtub. All right, weird enough. More than a little weird, Buzz. That's really bad. That's bad. You know, this just feels wrong somehow. I'm a dark-haired little girl, standing in the middle of the street at night, holding a doll by the hand. Scared yet? Scared? Nope. A little bit creeped out by how irresponsible your grandma is, though. I'll give you that. So... She's just standing here. She's just standing here. We might as well point that out at this point. So... you're just standing there, huh? People tend to do that in this kind of game. Yeah, I always wondered about that. I just like to watch them... sitting there... clicking their little lies away. Okay... Yeah, I'm with you there, Buzz, but... We might as well find out what this kid's called. What's your name, kiddo? If you must know, it's Priscilla. Are you sure you don't mean Priscilla? Do I look like the kind of person who can't correctly pronounce their own name? It's Priscilla! What's your name, smarty pants? Uh, Buzz. Buzz? My dad really loved his electric shaver. He must have really loved his electric shaver. Also, I don't know if that stat actually has anything to do with anything, but let's just acknowledge that that happened. Also, now that we know her name, she appears when we uh, holler over her as her name, Priscilla. Definitely not some sort of play on fish. Definitely not. Buzz, thank you. But we do now um, have a sort of objective to uh, go and get that fish doll. But unfortunately, um, we're not actually going to be able to get it yet because there's nothing really in it for us if we go and get the doll. If we try, uh, Kitte won't actually go and do it. Also, because we have the option, let's show this picture to this pit of graffiti. And risk bringing misfortune to this fine young fella? No, no. Fair enough, we can't. We unfortunately cannot. And unfortunately as well, there is um, nothing else we can currently do on this screen. Um, we have exhausted our options for progressing the plot here, but there is another area on the uh, next screen itself. But there are more things that we can try and use. Well, this is a point-and-click adventure game. Let us use this on the looming tower. I don't think this guy would like the idea of his picture ending up there. We don't even know who this guy is. Clearly, what we need to do is we need to use it on the actual door. Well, it would definitely stand out here, but no. Fair enough. We haven't even begun to scratch the surface of the number of uh, things that we could use items on, but there are other screens to go to. And if we're going to finish this demo, we're going to need to go to the one to the left. So, let me come back, folks. We shall go that away. Not that away, but that away and see what else we can do there. But before we do that, let's save, because saving's always a good thing to do. And I've said it again, 
being able to save in the demo is really good. So, I'll catch you next time, folks. And I'll see you then. Later. Oh, Kitty, there's nothing there. Why do you talk? Why can't you stop talking? Don't give me that unimpressed look. Hey, I'm looking at you. I think I'm going to lose this staring contest. So I'll quit while I'm behind. Later.